loving Father, God Almighty, attests Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes throng to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior. I'm Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord, and these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days of great trials, of famine and darkness. This powerful ministry with three miracle life healing services in English every week and 14 miracle life services in other languages every week. Mighty Holy Spirit has enhanced and extended this ministry worldwide with open air miracle moments, healing, and blessing festivals, with mammoth crowds even close to a million people. school for healing and wholeness essentially for servants of God in many nations. First shall be last and the last are going to be first. Miracle Moments with Pastor Dale is watched through international TV networks. It is the amazing truth that millions of people all over the world long and desire to hear and watch this ministry live and receive the love of Jesus and life in abundance, victorious and everlasting. It is a joy to mention that Dill Ministries International takes care of orphan children and destitutes on a regular basis in some nations. Magazines titled Signs, Wonders, and Miracles with immediate testimonies and praise reports are the fruits of this proven, power-filled ministry. Even anointed books authored by Pastor V. Dill are full of real revelation of the Father's love and testimonies of healings and miracles.
Lord Jesus lifts this anointed ministry as one of the world's most loving and exceedingly powerful mega ministries, Reverend Dr. V. Dill with his dear wife, Sahanti, and their blessed daughter, Divineha, with greater works, wiping the tears of multitudes, giving all honor, praises, thanks, glory, and gratitude to God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever until rapture in midair with Jesus as his bride. Jesus loves you. What a joy. We are entering into 2022. When you look back, when I look back, when we look back, all we can see. What a mighty God. What a mighty Father we serve, we follow and call him Abba Father. Mighty God. 2022, my loving great children, no matter who you are, is going to be an year of mighty mercy, mighty mercy, mighty power, and mighty miracles of the living God, our Father Almighty. He loves you, loves you, loves you. And you may say, oh, everything is going bad, everything is going out of control, everything is getting... People are confused, my loving children. As we always say, don't look outside. Look inside the word of the living God. Your life, my life, is in the word of the living God, our Savior, Jesus of Nazareth, who loves you, loves you, loves you. This year is going to be an year of abundant grace, 2022. Yes, it's in a, because the Bible says where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. It's an abounding grace, ab abundance of grace, abundance of life, abundance of power. So it's mighty mercy, mighty power, mighty miracles. Yes, and God always does miracles when everything seems impossible. That's why it's called a miracle. It's not possible by me or any man or woman of God. It's only possible by Jesus Christ of Nazareth who loves you, who gave his life for you. We just went through celebrating Christmas. What is Christmas all about? A savior came to save us. His blood, his blood, his death, his resurrection. He is today at the right hand of the Father. Even now saving us to the utmost. Hebrews 7, 25. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's going to be an year of greater glory, greater works, greater glory, greater works, and greater grace. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's going to be an year of abundance of love, abundance of life, abundance of power. It's going to be an year of greater grace, greater works, and greater glory. That's what the Holy Spirit says. My loving children, so enter into the 2022 with such a hope and such a faith. He loves you, loves you, loves you. And this morning, Saturday morning, as many of you have come, or even a Friday night on the YouTube or Facebook, He loves you, He loves you, the Holy Spirit said to just to run through in these 25 minutes, just to run through, go through, walk with him, the Holy Spirit of the patriots in the Old Testament and in the New Testament and eventually Jesus, the greatest and the only great one. First, 
next year, 2022, Holy Spirit is going to impart faith that Abraham had. Abraham was well known, well loved and renowned for the faith he had in his God that was counted for his righteousness. Abraham, how he believed, he believed that even out of nothing, God will bring everything good. Such a faith he had. Now, many people get frightened, doubts, get sick, worried, tensed. They give up on life, they give up on situations because we all lack faith many times. So Holy Spirit is going to pour into our lives and he's going to impart the faith, faith from Jesus. Faith comes from Jesus and that's the faith that Abraham was having in his life and he, he acted and lived on that faith. We are going to live by faith and not by sight. Now living by faith, my loving children, it's a great honor. Every one of us, we live by faith, whether you have a professional job or, the, or, or serving the Lord, wherever you are, we live by faith in the Son of God, Jesus. We are all going to have great faith next year. Holy Spirit is giving us this faith, this midnight 2021 into 2022. And 2022 is starting us with great faith from Jesus Christ. Abraham's faith, oh, that Jesus gave him. And that gave him every victory, hallelujah, every victory in life. Secondly, we are running through, walking with the Holy Spirit is Joseph. Look at the life of Joseph. My dear children, he found favor in the sight of man and favor always in the sight of God Almighty. Everywhere he, he worked for his master, he found favor there. Everywhere he found favor because God was with him. Emmanuel, God with us. That's what we celebrated in Christmas. Emmanuel, God with us. Ask the Holy Spirit today to come and fill you, fill you this year. Every day, every moment that Jesus is with you. John 14, 17, Jesus said, I will be with you and my spirit will be with you. My spirit will be in you. Yes, we need the Holy Spirit more in this year and the coming years until rapture and eternal. We will find favor with man in your workplace, in your office, in your business, in your family, in, in your ministry. We are going to have immense favor from the Lord Jesus, from our heavenly Father. Oh, and favor with man and favor with God. Yes, it's going to be a life like Abraham and Joseph because God was with Joseph and same with Abraham. Thirdly, Moses. Oh, what a saint of God he is. When, he was, when God called him, he was looking. There was a fire burning. The bush was being burnt by fire. That fire was from heaven. But the bush didn't burn. It was burning everywhere, but the bush was not consumed. Bush was not consumed. That's the glory of God. No matter what you go through, you will not be consumed. You will withstand because of the glory, the greater glory of the Lord will fill you. In your workplace, in your family, in your child, you may say, Lord, I can't bear it. I can't bear it all these years. But 2022, he is giving you a greater glory. Nothing will be consumed, nothing will be lost, nothing will be taken away. Yes, that's what amazed Moses. The bush was burning, but it was not consumed. Yes, that's the glory of the Lord God Almighty. And Moses was a man who spoke to God. God said, I speak to Moses mouth to mouth. What an honor, what an honor. He said, I speak to many people, but to Moses mouth to mouth. Why not? He, he will do that even this year to servants of God who are, and what was the hallmark of Moses? He was so meek, so humble, and then he was so faithful. He was so faithful and humble, oh meek. So this year, Holy Spirit is going to help us all to be humble and faithful. The Lord is ready to speak to us mouth to mouth, face to face. And where did he speak to him? In the cleft, in the cleft. Oh, beloved ones, in your lonely place, you may be that lonely person. You may be living in loneliness. 
No hype and activity and richness and silver and gold. Please, please, my loving great children of God, he's speaking to his chosen children in the cleft, in the cleft, in the lonely place of your life. When people can discard you, they can knock you off. doesn't matter. Jesus comes and speaks to you. Even mouth to mouth he will speak. Oh, let us be so humble and so faithful in everything, all of us. And the glory, the great glory is coming this year, 2022. It will be a greater glory, greater works, greater grace. Oh, oh, we'll be like Moses, all of us. And eventually we'll go through all this. My loving children, Joshua. So we have done through Abraham, Joseph, Moses, all what God did for these people and did through them is going to come to pass in 2022 for you, me and our household, our generations until rapture and eternal. Receive, receive my dear ones, no matter who you are, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, Joshua, you know Joshua, oh, how he won the victory and took the people into the promised land. He's a man of victory, yes. So in life, you may be having various challenges, struggles, failures. You may be saying, Lord, I, I don't know how I will win over this battle in my health, in my health, in my personal life, in my family, in my uh, business, in my children, in my ministry. Oh, the victory has been won now. Jesus won the victory for us. He defeated Satan and death and hell and curse. He is risen. So now... 2022, we can receive the victory like Joshua. Oh, beloved, he is going to pour his victory into your life and my life and our households, our ministries until rapture and eternal. Be of good cheer. We are entering into something good and great and glorious. Oh, he loves you, loves you. How he made Joshua win every battle. He is doing it for you and for me and for all in every area. Yes, what God did for Joshua and through Joshua is coming to pass in our lives 2022 20, onwards. He loves you, loves you. Then comes uh, David. Oh, David, what he was known, he was known for mercy. Mercy he was a man, such a big king. He was a man known to be merciful. That's why Jesus also was called son of David. Mercy, he kept his word. He was merciful. Oh, he, my loving children, this year is going to be a year of mighty mercy, mighty mercy, mighty mercy. My loving children, he loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Mighty miracles, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Mighty power, he loves you. Receive the mercy is available for everyone, everyone. It's for you. You may think, oh, God has forgotten me. God, I, I'm suffering. No, mercy, mercy. This year onwards, mighty mercy, mighty power, mighty miracles. You must expect that. Believe, believe, believe. He loves you. Every word will come to pass because Jesus gives these words through his power of the Holy Spirit to me, to you, to all. We are nothing. Hallelujah. We are nothing. He is everything. Oh, like, and David, one thing. We must all understand when he sinned like any other person, but he repented, he repented. The blood of Jesus is there for us today to cleanse us. Repent, repent. Don't ever say, I didn't do any wrong. No, let us not defend ourselves. He is our defense, Jesus of Nazareth. Repent. Check, uh, always check and see as how David said, Lord, see if there be anything unrighteous, wicked in me. Cleanse me. That's what we must do. 2022, be cleansed by the blood of Jesus all the time, repenting. And David was well known for what? Praising, 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 praising the Lord. He said, I will praise the Lord at all times. More than David, we have to praise the Lord. Why? The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has been shed forgiving us, saving us, redeeming us, writing our names in heaven in the Lamb's book of life, giving us life, life, life on this earth, abundant, long, well satisfied with salvation, victorious, well protected until rapture and eternal in heaven with Jesus. Oh, beloved, we have every reason to praise him, praise him, praise him all the time. Oh, this year, 
Let us do that. Hallelujah. Let us do that. Holy Spirit is there to give us that inspiration and encouragement and comfort. Yes. Then Elijah. Elijah, we are running, uh, we are going through with Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, David, all what God did for them and did in them and through them will be yours and mine and our household, homes, families, generations until rapture and eternal. Yes, that's why the Holy Spirit said this time the message will go like this. It's all him, his message. I am just a little man, nothing. Elijah, a well-known prophet, mighty prophet of God and a true prophet, true prophet, so humble, so humble and God through him to, tells us his, we will hear his gentle, still voice, a small, gentle voice when not in big hype and activity and show and silver and gold. No, those days are fading away. God was not there. He is there in that still small voice in that cleft of our life. In the, That's what you must be, I must be. In the, you may be so lonely in life, so desperate in life so sol despondent, rejected, but he will come to you. He will speak to you. He is there for you. His gentle, gentle voice, small voice, he will speak to us this year and the long years until rapture and eternal. So don't run after show and silver, gold and hype and no. I have preached this many times. He comes by the broken heart. He comes by those who are alone. Elijah, mighty man of God. God answered him with fire from heaven. So this year he will answer us with fire from heaven. Oh, the glory, the mighty power of God, this resurrected power of Jesus will be manifested through those who are so humble, so humble and Christ-like in the cleft. Oh, hallelujah, in the cleft. Oh, mighty power of God. Then comes Daniel. What was renowned nature of Daniel? He was innocent. He was innocent. Clean, pure. That's what we must endeavor to be. We must be innocent people. We can make mistakes. We all do. But we must be innocent. Clean. No pride, no wickedness. Nothing behind others. Oh, accusing. No, no, no. Let us get out of all this. Let us be innocent like a little child, pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. Daniel was a man like that. And what more? When Daniel was pressed from all sides, what did he do? He didn't panic. He didn't run. Oh, this, this uh, dirty, defeated evil can press you. Press you from all sides. Sickness, disease, fear. All kinds of awful news. No. Whenever you are pressed, look at Daniel. That's why this message of great power and promise and prophecy is coming to me, to you and to all. Daniel didn't panic and run around. He went, knelt down as before, as usual, and thanked God. Thanked God. He is there for him. Jehovah is there for you and for me. Our Abba, Father is there for you and for me. He thanked God. And then when they put them into the put him into the lion's well, into the lion's well, oh, the Lord sent an angel and shut the mouths of the lion. When our life is an innocent life, when our life is a life of gratitude, gratitude, thanking him, thanking Jesus for his blood, for his resurrection, a life of praise. God will shut every unwanted mouth. Yes, he did it for Daniel. Let us be so innocent this year and the coming years. And Daniel was just living with joy. Oh, God proved who he is for Daniel. Yes, he will do it for you and for me and for all until rapture and eternal. He's the God of Daniel. Hallelujah. He will manifest himself. That's why we are learning all this. So my loving children, now we are coming to Samuel. What a precious true prophet he is. He was such a man who heard the voice of God. Such a humble prophet. You know what he did? He, God used him to appoint kings 
and pour oil and anoint them and raise them up. Yes, you and I, you're anyone. God is going to anoint us more and more with his Holy Spirit and his power. And you or we will raise many sons and daughters much more in these coming years. The Holy Spirit will flow through us into the lives of so many people. And the Lord will use anyone to raise many, many dear ones as kings and priests unto the Lord Almighty. Yes, so that his kingdom will increase through us 2022 20, onwards until rapture and eternal. So you or I, or our homes, or our families, yes, God will manifest and work as how he worked in the life of Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, David, Elijah, Daniel, Samuel. Of course, there are other great saints, as, but the Holy Spirit just gave me these names. Now we go into the New Testament, New Covenant, John. What a man John was. He was always in the bosom of the Lord Jesus. He was a man to whom the Lord revealed what he is going to do in these times until rapture and eternal. Yes, he saw heaven. He wrote the book of Revelations. Yes, people have yet not been seeing what Jesus has really done for them. This year, let our eyes open. Let our hearts open. Holy Spirit is go, going to open ears and eyes through you and me and all so that people will be revealed. The curtain will move aside. The curtain, the veil will be torn apart. The curtain will move. We will see Jesus who died for us, whose blood, what his blood has done, what, what it means, the cross, and he is risen. What is all this resurrection and the blood and his forgiveness, his redemption, his saving us, oh, he loving us, loving us unconditionally. Oh, beloved, he is love, he is love. We have not seen that love yet. We have not been revealed that love because we, our eyes were partly closed, our ears were partly uh, closed. All of us, God is going to reveal. It's going to be the year of revelation until rapture and eternal. Like how he revealed to John, he will reveal to you or me. Yes. He loves you, love the year of being closer and closer and closer to him. As Moses, he spoke mouth to mouth, so close. This year, as Elijah, he came to him in the cleft. And then gentle voice, yes, he wants us to be close, close to him. This, uh, as the world we have gone through last almost two years, this defeated, defeated disease, no matter what it has been, hard and difficult, but one thing God is achieving, he's turning out everything good for us, good for us, like how he did for Joseph. What did Joseph say? The defeated evil meant it to be bad for me, but God turned it for my good. God turned it for my good. This year is going to be a year of goodness. 2022, yes, it's going to be good in every situation. He will turn it for your good. He will turn it for our good. We will be praising him. What he did for Joseph. Yes, Holy Spirit just reminded me. I, uh, so I went back there to Joseph to tell you it's going to be good in every situation. He will wipe all your tears. He will wipe all your tears. Praise him, praise him. Yes, John, you are going to see what Jesus has done for you. Many don't know. That's why they get worried, upset, troubled. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Then Peter, Peter was such a wonderful apostle of God, mighty power of the Holy Spirit through Peter. Yes, we can be used. You will be used. We will be used more and more. And God gave him the keys of the kingdom. Yes, he opened the doors for the Jews and the Gentiles. Peter, yes, you will open the hearts of many. Yes, you have been given the key with the key of love, not in condemning or judging. No, it's the key. Peter spoke words of life, words of life, words of love, words of life, words of love, oh, words of power. So your mouth will bring words of love and life, no other word, no condemning, no accusing, no judging people, no. Peter spoke words of life, words of it, don't even mention words that mean defeated, defeated evil words, no. 
Speak words of life. Holy Spirit will give you the power. This year at least speak words of life. Words of love. Words of love. And words of his mighty power. That's what and the hearts of many will be opened. Yes, the kingdom of God is going to increase, increase. Church is going to increase. All of us worldwide. Jesus, the head of the church is coming. Hallelujah. That can be you, me, all of us more and more, more and more. In the power, in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, there were many miracles, signs, wonders. When Peter ministered, same, it will happen more and more. Greater works, greater grace, greater glory this year and the coming years. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, beloved ones. And then Paul, oh, what a great apostle. The greatest apostle. And, and Jesus said, my grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel weak, whenever you feel tired in life, whenever you feel, Lord, when this will be all over, this problem, this pain, Jesus says, my grace is sufficient. It's going to be greater grace. It's going to be greater power. It's going to be greater glory, greater grace, greater works, greater glory in your life. It's nothing to do with money or silver or gold or show. No, no, no. My dear ones, yes, Paul was such a humble man of God, so simple, mighty man of God, apostle of Jesus, hallelujah. And he went through great agony, but God said, my grace is there. Don't complain, my grace. We complain many times, we murmur many times, but God's grace, we don't know this here is greater grace, greater works, greater glory for all of us until rapture and eternal in the coming long years. Oh, he loves you. My grace is sufficient. His grace is increasing. He loves you. That's what is grace. That's the blood of Jesus. It's not a abstract, abstract terminology. It's the power of the blood. It's the power of the blood. It's the life of the blood of Jesus. It's the victory the blood brings to us. So oh, it's the blood of Jesus shed for us and his resurrection. And his resurrection, he's risen, he's risen, he's risen. Mighty power of God in Christ Jesus. Oh, that will be manifested in us and through us in the coming years until rapture and eternal. Multitudes will come to Jesus. Multitudes great than you ever expected. 2022 onwards until rapture. Through you, through you beloved ones. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. And then the twelfth. Now we'll run through it again. Abraham, Joseph, Moses, Joshua. David, Elijah, then Daniel, then Samuel, then New Testament John, Peter, Paul, and then twelfth is Jesus Christ himself. He is God himself who came in flesh. And what is he? Through all these what we heard, Holy Spirit is going to work in your life and my life and our homes, our families, our generations until rapture and eternal. And Jesus is making his church, his body as the bride, as the bride, as the bride. In working through all this, we are being made his bride. We are being prepared as his bride. We are being clothed, clothed, clothed as his bride. Oh, he's coming to rapture us, oh, my loving children. It's his blood, it's his word, it's his Holy Spirit. Yes, what he did through Abraham and in Abraham and all these saints that we heard. Jesus Christ is God, the Son of God who came in flesh. He is preparing his bride. He is making his bride out of his church and preparing his bride, all of us, and clothing us to be his bride. At rapture, when he comes to rapture, as we have all these works to do from Abraham to Paul as how Jesus worked in them, through them. So get ready. Rejoice as you enter into 2022. Rejoice. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Year of mighty mercy, mighty power and mighty miracles. Year of greater grace, greater works and greater glory for all of us. A year of abundance of love, abundance of truth, 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 
and abundance of life. Get ready as we enter into 2022. He loves you, loves you, loves you. What a joy, what a joy as I bring this word, me and my dear precious wife Swanti and our precious one and only dear daughter Divina. As a family, we just ask the Heavenly Father to do all this what he has spoken to us. This is prophetic promise and power. Prophetic promise and power for all of us. We love you and we bless you in the name that is above every other name. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Let your life be like Jesus, true representation of Jesus. All of us until rapture, true representation of Jesus. Oh, as his bride, as his bride, Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. See you again, always, always until rapture and eternal. Amen. This is Sarah. For three months, Pastor, she's been suffering with wounds at the bottom of both her feet. And they were bleeding and in a lot of pain. And she said last Thursday, completely gone. Completely gone, no child. Wound. You can show it to the camera, child. Just hold her. Just hold her. She may fall. You're there for that. Pastor, she says that you said your feet are being healed. And at that moment. It's gone, child. You can stamp your feet and show me. All the pain is gone, child. Completely gone. Instantly it went. Who oh, healed this dear girl? Who oh, healed this dear daughter? Lift your hands to Jesus. Simon, he has got two testimonies. Acute elbow pain. He came with it from yesterday. And right now he tested himself. He found God has healed him. Completely gone, sir. Completely gone. Acute pain you had. And it's completely gone. And you can move it up and show me. Completely gone, sir. Second one, Pastor. Yes. Acute heel pain. For oh. one month. Now, Thursday he didn't manage to come here. But he watched you online. Uh -huh. While he was watching online, he received his miracle. You now watched me on live and your healing is coming. You can hit it, my son. All the pain is gone, son. Completely gone. For one month you had it. And you watched me live and Jesus healed. Lift your hands to Jesus.